Thanks so much for listening in. I'm Donna Marie Johnson. I apologize that I did not update you all to let you know when to expect the next episode. So this show is kind of like a recap of some of our more recent interviews and bonus episodes. So this is a bonus episode. And um, the show also is to just let y'all know that I'll be pulling back a little bit more. I won't be doing as many episodes, um, but I will be still bringing, I still got more for you, more interviews. And so I want to make sure that um, I give an update. All right. So if you don't know who I am, I am the perfectionism coach, Donna Marie. I have been talking about this topic of perfectionism on my own uh, to my own audience, as well as um, as a guest speaker on other podcasts. Um, and I have also um, been interviewing uh, primarily women leaders on this topic of perfectionism and why it's toxic and how you can recognize it in your own life and tips that may help you to understand it better and get past it. I am not feeling 100% right now. I've got a lot of nasal congestion, so I apologize if my energy level is a little low and all of that, but I felt that this was important for me to bring this uh, bonus episode to you all. The name of this podcast, by the way, is the Plant Your Seeds of Transformation podcast. This podcast is um, available on YouTube, and on almost all of the um, the main podcast uh, platforms, including Apple iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts. And you can see it both in video or just listen to the audio. So um, if you're watching <laughs> on YouTube or on Spotify, great. That's awesome. I'm glad you can see. And I'm trying to tailor my... Um, podcast so that those who are not watching, who are just listening in can understand everything too. So try not to do a, a whole bunch of visuals except for me. You can see me. All right. So I'm really, really excited that the audience has been growing and I want it to be able to continue to grow because this message needs to get out to more women. A lot of women, especially Black women, come from a culture of um, unrealistic expectations of of them, of them, of themselves. Um, come from a culture that does not think that anything they do is enough, and so it fosters this toxic perfectionism in Black women that can get you to the point where you don't you don't like yourself, even where you can end up hating yourself. And when you get to the point of self-hatred, that's very dangerous. We've seen people lose their lives that were at the top of their fields, beauty pageant queens, nationally known chefs, fashion designers that were at the top of their game, well-known, globally famous people making bank. They had money and they ended their lives. And when you get to the point where you hate yourself, that's a very dangerous place to be in. So if that's you, please reach out for support to your local therapist. I do not have an endorsement from or affiliation with any uh, therapist, but I can recommend that you go to um, use any of the online therapy services that you've heard uh, advertised, such as BetterHelp, or um, I forgot some of, there's some so many that have been advertised by well-known people from Michael Phelps to um, Gabby. I uh, can't remember her name right now, but <laughs> some of the gymnasts have shared about their journeys dealing with 
um, dealing with this, these types of things. So I highly recommend that you reach out for support if that's you, if you're in a place where you feel like you might hurt yourself, where you feel like you don't care about yourself, where you don't see um, that you have purpose, that where you don't believe it. You don't really believe God loves you. You've heard it. You've heard people say, oh, God loves you, but you don't really believe it. If you're in that place, please get help. One of the main reasons why this topic has become such a hot topic is because we're tired of seeing people suffering in silence and not getting help and ending up uh, ending their lives. So please get help. Even if you don't really believe that God really loves you and that your life is worthwhile, even if you don't really believe that, trust me, trust the people that love you enough to know that you are loved and your life is worthwhile and you're worth getting extra help to make sure that you can get back on the right path in your mind, in your heart. Okay. One of the great things about doing podcasts is that they are always available. They're not going anywhere. They are on the podcast um, uh, platforms and they're on YouTube. If you are wanting to listen in and hear the perspectives of all of these awesome women that have shared with us so far and also the future ones, please subscribe to one of the podcasts or to YouTube so you can get alerts and also so you can see the past episodes. I know that a lot of people prefer YouTube, so that's fine, but please don't watch it while you're driving. <laughs> so um, just to let you know, if you are a YouTube user and you want to be able to listen while you're driving, you can upgrade to, um, I think they call it YouTube premium or something like that. It's $4.99 a month. And, and I'm not sure that that's still the, the price, but that allows you to just listen. <laughs> so you can listen safely and um, while you're driving or, you know, if you're cooking and you can't just really look at the screen because you're trying not to burn stuff. If you want to listen on YouTube, you can listen on YouTube too. You don't have to always watch the videos. So, all right. So the website address is plantyourseeds.show. That is the show notes website where you can see more information about all of the people that I've been interviewing more information about how you can support this show, more information about me, Donna Marie, and what I do as a coach and an author and a mentor. Um, again, it's plantyourseeds.show. And again, this is the Plant Your Seed to Transformation podcast. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, my one-page profile is authordonnamarie.com. When you go over there, it has all my social links, all the information about everything that I'm up to um, with my life as a coach, a speaker, a mentor. Um, you'll be able to learn more. You'll be able to see past uh, interviews that I've given. Um, you'll be able to see um, my LinkedIn link, all of that. So you're going to go to authordonnamarie.com or again, you can go to plantyourseeds.show and then you'll see you know, the links for how to find me over there. All right. So I want to um, talk about something that is very helpful when you are going through a transformation, when you're planting your own seeds of transformation. I want to talk about something that's been very helpful for me. I know if you're younger, sometimes when we're younger, we don't take this seriously. And that the, what I'm going to talk about is sleep. The importance of sleep. A lot of younger people, I know because I was younger once and I did not take this seriously. Sleep, not just resting, chilling, vegging out, sleeping, S-L-E-E-P, sleeping. When you sleep enough, 
you will you will know you'll feel a difference so just trust me on this try it sleeping three to four hours a night is not healthy for anybody it is not enough sleep even five isn't really enough sleep so I had to learn in my older age here I'm 50 now I had to learn to get more sleep. And part of the problem was that I actually had a physical health issue. I had to get a sleep study done. I had to get a CPAP machine. I look like Darth Vader at night and that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. There's nothing wrong with getting the help you need. You're not weak. We are human beings. There's nothing wrong with sleeping. There's nothing wrong with that. And this toxic mantra of, oh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Come on, really? Do you really believe that? No, 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 no. Whoever told you that, they may be already dead or, or halfway there, halfway to that grave. Do you want to go with them for real? If you talk to any doctor, they will let you know that sleep, more sleep is essential. At least seven hours of sleep a night. Now, everybody has a bad night. I'm not saying that you, you won't ever have a bad night, but I'm saying that consistently daily, getting very little sleep, it's extremely unhealthy for you. It's unhealthy for your brain. It slows your metabolism. It may even increase your appetite, make you eat more. Um, there are lots of, of things that happen to you when you're not getting enough sleep. And unfortunately, sometimes when you're not getting enough sleep consistently over time, you're not even thinking straight. So letting go of that bad habit sometimes is that much more difficult because you're not even thinking straight. And so the reason that I'm bringing this topic to this bonus episode is because I've been there. And I consider these coaching episodes kind of like mentorship. I'm a mentor and I'm not doing any live mentoring sessions for the summer. I'm in school, which is why I messed up and didn't post a <laughs> post an episode last weekend because I am back in school again. And I'm trying to make sure that I continue to get the proper amount of sleep and take care of my family and get my studies done, right? So... It's super important to get perspective. Even if you don't agree with me, doesn't matter. Even if you don't agree with me, just get perspective. Listen, just listen. You may not take it seriously right now, but there'll be a day when you will because your body's going to shut down and you're not going to have a choice but to rest. Your body can only go without, uh, your body can only go with sleep deprivation for so long before things begin to break down. So you may not believe me today, but one day you'll, you'll circle back to this. So I'm just telling you, you can't keep missing out on your sleep. You just can't keep doing that. It's better to be preventive and start making changes now than it is to continue on the road, the path you're on, because the path that you're on now can lead you into a world of trouble and a world of hurt. And I don't want you to go through some of the things that I've been through. I've gained lots of weight. A big part of that is from not sleeping for many, many years. I was barely sleeping for many years. So now that I've gotten the help, I'm out here raising the flag, waving the flag saying, hey, don't make my mistake. Now, one of the great things about sleep is that there are little strategies you can do to help you with sleep. I know that um, there are a lot of um, podcasts out there. One of my friends, her name is Deanna Mason. She has a podcast called Refreshed Moms. She talks a lot about rest, not just about sleep. So if you'd like to hear her tips on that, I definitely recommend you check out her podcast. Refresh Moms. When you are specifically dealing with sleep deprivation, starving your body of sleep, 
Sometimes there are specific reasons why you're not getting enough sleep and you're going to have to figure that out. Sometimes it's that you're, you've moved to a new place and you're having a hard time adjusting to sleeping in that new place. That happened here in the place that I'm living now. It took me a long time. It probably took me a good six months to figure out um, how to get into sleep mode um, successfully and, um, be able to fall asleep. Um, so sometimes when you make a move, you need to create a new routine. You need to create familiar smells. For me, I love lavender. Lavender puts me right to sleep. I put, I have a roller of lavender. I roll it on my wrists and on my neck before I go to sleep. I go right to sleep. No problem ever. So I've had to, I have incorporated that into my sleep routine. So creating a sleep routine, this is something that is extremely um, an important strategy, right? For anything that you want to be successful in in life, you have a strategy, right? Nothing wrong with having a strategy for your sleep routine. Sometimes people need to take a shower or a bath to help calm them down before they go to bed, no problem, do that. Some people don't like to take, some people feel more alert and um, and invigorated when they take a shower before they go to bed. So they don't take a shower before they go to bed. Sometimes that could be a problem. You have to figure things out for yourself, right? Sometimes people live in a noisy environment. The house I live in is on a corner. It is very noisy. And so um, I've just recently um, been able to, I was able to move my room and move my bed away from the window. That's been a big help. So I have less road noise, less street noise um, by my bed, by the head of my bed. And so that's been a good change for me. Some people like to play music. I have to have a fan blowing on me at night. And I, I've known other people that needed that. And I thought they were crazy, right? <laughs> that when I was younger. And now I need that. I'm, I get very hot at night. I also get stuffed up. My nose gets stuffed up. So having a fan blowing on me at night, just it totally calms me down. I feel, I feel much more comfortable. I don't mind being cold because I can snuggle up under my covers, right? Even in the summertime, you know, with the air conditioner blowing, it gets kind of chilly at nighttime. So having nice warm blankets on my bed, that's important. So a lot of times people don't think about the things that they put on their beds, but you got to have the right pillows. You got to have the right sheets. You can take the time and just kind of figure some things out. You can take the time to try different things out. Um, I used to have just a regular quilt on my bed. I decided to get one of those fake fur blankets. I love it. I don't know what it is. I just love, I love that blanket. I love the texture of it. One side of it is like Sherpa and the other side is like fake fur. I don't know what it is, but I really love it. And I feel much more comforted with that. Um, I also have throw a blanket on my bed. So in addition to the reg the, the big blanket, I have a throw blanket. And I keep that at the foot of the bed across my feet. I don't know why my feet get cold. Nobody wants to sleep with cold feet, okay? So you got to figure out uh, what works for you. And you can take the time to just really uh, try different things out. Now, some people um, have to have music playing. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Some people have to have music or ocean sounds or different things like that playing. Now, YouTube has wonderful videos with all kinds of sounds that like you can listen for. It'll play for like three hours. I think some of them go longer than that, eight hours, five hours, whatever, um, and in a loop. And it will, um, for some people, that can really calm you down and help you to really rest, especially if you live in a noisy area. Like if you're in an apartment and you have noisy neighbors, or if you live in a city, I used to live in Chicago. Oh my gosh, it was so noisy there all the time. And back then, that was many years ago, it was decades ago. 
Um, back then, I didn't really know about like playing uh, music that had like ocean sounds in it and stuff. That was a long time ago. We didn't have like YouTube and things back then. And so when I lived in that apartment, I think I just turned on the radio and played that all night. Um, but yeah, if if I didn't have it on, I would hear sirens all night long, you know? So if that's, you, if that's the kind of situation you're in in an urban area where it's really noisy, you definitely have to control the noise um, drown, drown out the noise with other sounds that you like. If you are in a situation where you are sharing a room or sharing a bed with somebody that snores or somebody that like rips the covers off of you, <laughs> sometimes bedmates can be a little rude and take those covers. It's okay to get your own separate blanket. I know with my husband at one point I had to do that. He would he would rip the blanket away from me and I would literally be shivering in the middle of the night. That wasn't fun. So you wanna make sure that you give yourself the time to figure out what it is that you need to be comfortable. If you live in a situation where people interrupt you, uh, interrupt your sleep, you're gonna to have to set boundaries with people, right? There's nothing wrong with telling people what you need, okay? Tell people what you need. If your children are part of that interruption, there are ways to learn how to help them to sleep through the night in their own beds. You can take the time to learn about that. There are authors on Amazon that are award-winning authors with books that people have found to be very helpful. So take a look, take a look on YouTube. You know, you can learn anything on YouTube, right? Take a look on YouTube and see if there are, um, not if, I know for sure there are people that give sleep tips for children, for parenting, parenting sleep training tips. I think that's what it's usually called sleep training. Some people don't give advice that's relevant. So be careful. You know, make sure that you check them out. See, look at the comments and the reviews. If it's a book, look at the reviews of the book. You know, you don't want to waste your time listening to or reading something that's not going to work for you, right? But you can do this. And if you're sleep deprived, you may feel like it's impossible. But know that it's not impossible. You can do it. Give yourself time. I could go on and on talking about this topic because I know um, that A, it's really important. And I also know that there's lots of different factors to it. So I'm going to end here by saying that you can also access a specific book. This is a book recommended by my rest coach, Deanna Mason of Refreshed Moms. She helped me. I, I really honestly feel like she saved my life. She helped me to take this seriously. I was not taking my need for rest seriously. And it was affecting me on a very basic human health needs level. And I believe that she saved my life. So I want to recommend that you check out Refresh Moms, but I also want to recommend that you check out a book that she introduced me to called Sacred Rest by Dr. Dalton Smith, I believe. Um, Sacred Rest is a book that doesn't just talk about sleep. It talks about other aspects of rest. And Deanna teaches about that. She has a whole, a whole thing about that. So again, check out the Refreshed Moms podcast and also check out Dr. Sandra Dalton Smith book called Sacred Rest. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. There's a lot more I could say, and I hope that I can bring on an interview on this topic soon. But until then, know that I care about you and I want to see you winning in everything. But I know personally that when you're not getting enough sleep over time, you're not going to be able to think straight enough to be able to make the choices 
that will make things better for you. Um, and part of that self-hatred, part of that not caring about yourself can come out of simply not having enough rest when you don't think straight because you're sleep deprived. It really can affect you emotionally. So please get help. Please make the changes you need to make. Plant your seeds of transformation. You take responsibility for your life and cultivate the garden of your life. Plant your own seeds of transformation. All right, if you have any questions for me, you're welcome to leave a, um, a message on the Plant Your Seeds of Transformation podcast on Spotify. You can leave a voicemail message there. You're also welcome to reach out at plantyourseeds.show. Plantyourseeds.show, you'll see um, a contact uh, uh, area there. All right, take care now. This is Donna Marie, Coach Donna Marie, signing off. If you have any, if you have not seen previous episodes or listened to previous episodes, check those out over at plantyourseeds.show or look up Plant Your Seeds of Transformation on Google and pick your favorite podcast platform. It's been a pleasure and an honor bringing these episodes to you all. I hope that this one about getting more rest will be a really big help for somebody. And if you want to reach out and let me know, go to plantyourseeds.show and let me know. Or, you know, leave a review. I'd love to get uh, comments and reviews on the podcast platforms and on YouTube. But, um, you know, plantyourseeds.show, you can just send me a, a message privately there too. Take care now. Bye-bye.